Peace and blessings. Thank you for joining Tribe Prokhorim on this daily prayer and Bible reading journey. We will read through the Bible using the one-year Bible reading plan and end in prayer. Today is February 7th and we will be reading from Exodus chapter 26 verses 1 through 37 and chapter 27 verses 1 through 21. Matthew chapter 25 verses 1 through 30. Psalm chapter 31 verses 1 through 8 and Proverbs chapter 8 verses 1 through 11. Let's begin. Exodus chapter 26 verses 1 through 37. The Ten Curtains of the Tabernacle. Moreover, you shall make the tabernacle with ten curtains, of fine twined linen, and blue, and purple, and scarlet, with cherubim. The work of the skillful workman you shall make them. The length of each curtain shall be twenty-eight cubits, and the breadth of each curtain four cubits. All the curtains shall have one measure. Five curtains shall be coupled together, one to another, and the other five curtains shall be coupled one to another. You shall make loops of blue on the edge of the one curtain from the edge in the coupling. And likewise you shall make in the edge of the curtain that is outmost in the second coupling. You shall make fifty loops in the one curtain, and you shall make fifty loops in the edge of the curtain that is in the second coupling. The loops shall be opposite one to another. You shall make fifty clasps of gold, and couple the curtains one to another with the clasps. And the tabernacle shall be a unit. The Eleven Curtains of Goat's Hair You shall make curtains of goat's hair for a covering over the tabernacle. You shall make them eleven curtains. The length of each curtain shall be thirty cubits, and the breadth of each curtain four cubits. The eleven curtains shall have one measure. You shall couple five curtains by themselves, and six curtains by themselves, and shall double over the sixth curtain in the forefront of the tent. You shall make fifty loops on the edge of the one curtain that is outmost in the coupling and fifty loops on the edge of the curtain which is outmost in the second coupling. You shall make fifty clasps of brass, and put the clasps into the loops, and couple the tents together, that it may be one. The overhanging part that remains of the curtains of the tent, the half curtain that remains, shall hang over the back of the tabernacle. The cubit on the one side, and the cubit on the other side of that which remains in the length of the curtains of the tent shall hang over the sides of the tabernacle, on this side and on that side, to cover it. You shall make a covering for the tent of ram's skins dyed red, and a covering of sea cow hides above. The Boards and Sockets You shall make the boards for the tabernacle of acacia wood, standing up, Ten cubits shall be the length of a board, and one and a half cubits the breadth of each board. There shall be two tenons in each board, joined to one another. Thus you shall make for all the boards of the tabernacle. You shall make the boards for the tabernacle, twenty boards for the south side southward. You shall make forty sockets of silver under the twenty boards, two sockets under one board for its two tenons, and two sockets under another board for its two tenons. For the second side of the tabernacle, on the north side, twenty boards, and there forty sockets of silver, two sockets under one board, and two sockets under another board. For the far part of the tabernacle westward, you shall make six boards. You shall make two boards for the corners of the tabernacle in the far part. They shall be double beneath and in the same way they shall be whole to its top, to one ring. Thus shall it be for them both, they shall be for the two corners. There shall be eight boards, and their sockets of silver, sixteen sockets, two sockets under one board, and two sockets under another board. You shall make bars of acacia wood, five for the boards of the one side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the boards of the other side of the tabernacle and five bars for the boards of the side of the tabernacle, for the far part westward. The middle bar in the midst of the boards shall pass through from end to end. 
you shall overlay the boards with gold, and make their rings of gold for places for the bars. And you shall overlay the bars with gold. You shall set up the tabernacle according to the way that it was shown to you on the mountain. The Veil for the Ark You shall make a veil of blue and purple and scarlet and fine twined linen with cherubim. The work of the skillful workman shall it be made. You shall hang it on four pillars of acacia overlaid with gold. Their hooks shall be of gold on four sockets of silver. You shall hang up the veil under the clasps and shall bring the ark of the testimony in there within the veil and the veil shall separate the holy place from the most holy for you. You shall put the mercy seat on the ark of the testimony in the most holy place. You shall set the table outside the veil and the lampstand over against the table on the side of the tabernacle toward the south and you shall put the table on the north side the curtain for the door. You shall make a screen for the door of the tent of blue and purple and scarlet and fine twined linen, the work of the embroiderer. You shall make for the screen five pillars of acacia and overlay them with gold. Their hooks shall be of gold and you shall cast five sockets of brass for them. Exodus chapter 27 verses 1 through 21 The Bronze Altar You shall make the altar of acacia wood, five cubits long and five cubits broad. The altar shall be four square, and its height shall be three cubits. You shall make its horns on its four corners. Its horns shall be of one piece with it and you shall overlay it with brass. You shall make its pots to take away its ashes, its shovels, its basins, its flesh hooks, and its fire pans. All its vessels you shall make of brass. You shall make a grating for it of network of brass. And on the net you shall make four bronze rings in its four corners. You shall put it under the ledge around the altar beneath that the net may reach halfway up the altar. You shall make poles for the altar, poles of acacia wood, and overlay them with brass. Its poles shall be put into the rings, and the rings shall be on the two sides of the altar when carrying it. You shall make it with hollow planks. They shall make it as it has been shown you on the mountain. The Courtyard you shall make the court of the tabernacle. For the south side, southward, there shall be hangings for the court, of fine twined linen, one hundred cubits long for one side, and its pillars shall be twenty, and their sockets twenty, of brass. The hooks of the pillars and their fillets shall be of silver. Likewise for the north side, in length, there shall be hangings 100 cubits long, and its pillars 20, and their sockets 20, of brass, the hooks of the pillars, and their fillets of silver. For the breadth of the court on the west side shall be hangings of 50 cubits, their pillars 10, and their sockets 10. The breadth of the court on the east side, eastward, shall be 50 cubits. The hangings for the one side of the gate shall be fifteen cubits, their pillars three, and their sockets three. For the other side shall be hangings of fifteen cubits, their pillars three, and their sockets three. For the gate of the court shall be a screen of twenty cubits, of blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen, the work of the embroiderer their pillars four, and their sockets four. All the pillars of the court around shall be filleted with silver, their hooks of silver, and their sockets of brass. The length of the court shall be one hundred cubits, and the breadth fifty everywhere, and the height five cubits of fine twined linen, 
and their sockets of brass. All the instruments of the tabernacle in all its service and all its pins and all the pins of the court shall be of brass. The oil for the lamps. You shall command the children of Israel that they bring to you pure olive oil beaten for the light to cause a lamp to burn continually. In the tent of meeting, outside the veil which is before the testimony, Aaron and his sons shall keep it in order, from evening to morning, before Yahweh. It shall be a statute forever, throughout their generations, on the behalf of the children of Israel. Matthew chapter 25 verses 1 through 30 Then the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins, who took their lamps, and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and five were wise. Those who were foolish, when they took their lamps, took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Now while the bridegroom delayed, they all slumbered and slept. But at midnight there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Come out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose, and trimmed their lamps. The foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, What if there isn't enough for us and you? You go, rather, to those who sell, and buy for yourselves. While they went away to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding feast, and the door was shut. Afterward the other virgins also came, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered, Most certainly I tell you, I don't know you. Watch therefore, for you don't know the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. For it is like a man going into another country who called his own servants and entrusted his goods to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his own ability. Then he went on his journey. Immediately he who received the five talents went and traded with them and made another five talents. In the same way, he also who got the two gained another two. But he who received the one talent went away and dug in the earth and hid his Lord's money. Now after a long time, the Lord of those servants came and reconciled accounts with them. He who received the five talents came and brought another five talents, saying, Lord, you delivered to me five talents. Behold, I have gained another five talents in addition to them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will set you over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. He also who got the two talents came and said, Lord, you delivered to me two talents. Behold, I have gained another two talents in addition to them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will set you over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. He also who had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you that you are a hard man reaping where you didn't sow, and gathering where you didn't scatter. I was afraid, and went away and hid your talent in the earth. Behold, you have what is yours. But his Lord answered him, You wicked and slothful servant, you knew that I reap where I didn't sow, and gather where I didn't scatter. You ought therefore to have deposited my money with the bankers, and at my coming I should have received back my own with interest. Take away, therefore, the talent from him, and give it to him who has the ten talents. For to every one who has will be given, and he will have abundance. But from him who doesn't have, even that which he has will be taken away. Throw out the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Psalm chapter 31 verses 1 through 8. For the chief musician, a psalm by David. In you, Yahweh, I take refuge. Let me never be disappointed. 
Deliver me in your righteousness. Bow down your ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be to me a strong rock, a house of defense to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pluck me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me. For you are my stronghold. Into your hand I commend my spirit. You redeem me, Yahweh, God of truth. I hate those who regard lying vanities, but I trust in Yahweh. I will be glad and rejoice in your loving kindness, for you have seen my affliction. You have known my soul in adversities. You have not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a large place. Proverbs chapter 8 verses 1 through 11 The Excellence of Wisdom Doesn't wisdom cry out? Doesn't understanding raise her voice? On the top of high places by the way, where the paths meet, she stands. Beside the gates, at the entry of the city, at the entry doors, she cries aloud. To you men, I call. I send my voice to the sons of mankind. You simple, understand prudence. You fools, be of an understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak excellent things. The opening of my lips is for right things. For my mouth speaks truth. Wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing crooked or perverse in them. They are all plain to him who understands, right to those who finds knowledge. Receive my instruction rather than silver, knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies. All the things that may be desired can't be compared to it. Abba Father, we give thanks to you for everything. We are eternally grateful for all you have done for us. Although we fail you daily, you continue to show us love, grace and mercy. Your love is unfathomable and it never fails. We acknowledge your sovereignty in all the earth and thank you for being our God. Please forgive us for anything we have said, done or thought that was not pleasing to you. Create in us clean hearts and renew right spirits within us. Bless us with knowledge, wisdom, understanding, maturity, discernment, and focused minds. Take away any thoughts or feelings that are not in alignment with you. Open our eyes to the wonderful things of your law and make it an engrafted word in us. May we live lives according to your will, denounce our sinful nature, lay our sins at your feet and walk in obedience to you for your glory. Abba Father, we need to know how to maneuver in every area of our lives as we navigate through these trying and unprecedented times. We need your leading to be able to plan for ourselves, our households and communities. We need to know who to be in relationships with and what foods to consume. We need strategies on how to handle our finances. In all things, we ask that you lead and guide us that we are operating out of wisdom. We ask that you keep us safe from predatory attacks and give us a heart for those less fortunate. As you allow our gifts to make room for us, may we operate in our giftings out of pure hearts and minds for the advancement of your kingdom. Bless us to be steps ahead of the enemy by keeping our focus on you and walking in obedience. Expose the spirit of lawlessness and every wicked device so that we may avoid hurt harm and danger while walking in your perfect plan for our lives. We present our bodies as living sacrifices to you and ask that you make us aware of your presence and what you are doing in the earth today. Cover us with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Keep our physical bodies, homes, modes of transportation, places of employment, bank accounts, credit and investments, and communities safe from all hurt, harm and danger. Expose and obliterate anything that dares to come against your people. Bring complete and total healing to our minds, emotions, and bodies. May your perfect will be done in the earth. 
We pray this prayer over ourselves and everyone connected to us in the matchless name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. May the shalom peace of God follow you for the rest of your days.